Mental Hygiene Law 921, Voluntary and Informal Admission, the Encouragement of. <coughs> so this is when they're trying to encourage them to stay in. Okay. A. It shall be the duty of all state and local officers <coughs> having duties to perform uh, relating to the mentally ill to encourage any person suitable and in need of care and treatment for mental illness to apply for admission as a voluntary or informal patient. No requirement shall be made by rule regulation. Applying for admission shall have the legal capacity to contract. What? Does that even make sense? No, because I didn't read the whole sentence. Oh, jeez. Going back. Who are you talking to? Talking to myself. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. Because I'm talking about mentally ill people. It's making me crazy. Okay. Um... All right, back to this. B, no requirement shall be made by rule regulation or otherwise as a condition to admission or retention that any person applying for admission shall have the legal capacity to contract. And I still don't even understand what I read after reading it, so I don't know why I went back. C, a person requesting admission to a hospital who is suitable for admission on a voluntary or informal status shall be admitted only on such a voluntary or informal status. The hospital shall have the discretion to admit the person on either such status, except that if the person specifically requests admission on an informal status and is suitable thereof, he shall be admitted only on such informal status. I can't even see that ending being in a question, but there it is. <laughs> now we have voluntary and informal admissions conversion two. Nothing contained in this article shall be construed to prohibit any director from converting, as shall be his duty to convert, the admission of any involuntary patient suitable and willing to apply, therefore, to a voluntary status. The mental hygiene legal service shall be given notice of every conversion from an involuntary status to a voluntary status. B. Any patient converted from an involuntary status to a voluntary status shall have the right to a judicial hearing before the Supreme Court or a county court on the questions of his suitability for such conversions on his willingness to be so converted. So, um, obviously, as I've been reading this, there is a theme here with hearings, orders being needed, motions, everything is going to be done with this article in Supreme Court or County Court um, where the, it's, the hospital is, where the hospital is located. Hospital is located. 925, Voluntary and Informal Admissions. Review of the status. No voluntary or informal patient whether admitted on such status or converted thereto, shall be continued in such status for a period beyond 12 months from the date of commencement of such status, or beyond 12 months from the effective date of this statute, whichever is later, unless the suitability of such patient to remain in such status and his willingness to so remain have been reviewed. The director shall review the suitability of such patient to remain in such status. And I'm just going down because it's all like so crazy. So if there's any review of status, it's every 12 months. Okay. A copy of such certification of review shall be filed in the patient's record. If an application for a court order has been made and a hearing is requested, the provisions current governing hearing contained in section 931 of this article shall be applicable. If an application for a court order has been made, huh? Oh, okay. So B is, if an application for a court order has been made and a hearing is requested, 
a hearing is requested, the provisions governing the hearing of this article shall be applicable of section 931. C. If an application for a court order has been made, the court, in determining the proceeding, may approve the continued hospitalization of the patient as a voluntary or informal patient, or if the court finds that the patient is not suitable or willing to continue as a voluntary or informal patient, it may order the discharge of the patient or make such order as it may deem appropriate in the circumstance. And D. Prior to the termination of the 12 months from the date of the certification on such first review by the Mental Hygiene Legal Services or if an application for a court order has been made from the date of the first order and thereafter prior to the termination of the 12 months from any subsequent certification or subsequent order, as the case may be, the director and the Mental Hygiene Legal Service shall conduct another review of the patient's suitability and willingness to remain as a voluntary or informal patient as set 